to go. Okay guys, so I'm flying by myself for the first time today. It's gonna be very different. Um, at the ripe age of 25, I'm going to be flying alone. Um, this is also my first time flying and staying, flying within the same time zone. I'm not going to be experiencing like jet lag the way that I normally do when I am flying to see family overseas and stuff like that. So it's gonna be kind of different. But anyways, I just wanna take you guys along because uh, this, is, this, this experience needs to be commemorated. So let's go. It is also 4.30 in the flipping morning. Pray for me. guys so um a lot has happened um my flight got delayed so it ended up being like kind of crazy for a hot minute which is why i didn't vlog anything and now i'm in my rental car i am on my way to see the rest of my family meet up with the rest of them but dude i have not been so stressed in so long i didn't eat breakfast either because the flight was delayed i didn't get to pick up any food then i had to keep rushing because like my rental car reservation this is kind of smacking though. Okay. Anyways, I got some nuggets and stuff. I'm just trying to survive here. So we're just gonna get to my aunt's house. We're gonna live, we're gonna survive, we're gonna be fine. But um, that was my first time flying alone. So the flight, so the set connection flight, my second flight was delayed because of engine trouble that started when we pulled out onto the tarmac. And so that ended up being delayed by a whole hour. So. You can imagine how that went. Um, but I'm just grateful to be here, honestly. And I am driving this really nice rental that they just told me. They were like, you can pick out whatever car you want. And I have this one. So, yeah. So, I'll be checking in with you guys again. Hopefully the flight back isn't as bad. But it's fine. French fries have never... Oh, no. French fries have never tasted so good, guys. I'm not eating a single thing today, so... We're here. Mm. I was really graceful. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Well, guys, I decided to just kind of do a little voiceover as I am editing this montage of kind of where I went with my dad's side of family throughout this trip. Um, I don't know, I just got like some really introspective during this trip, doing like all the simple things that I missed that I haven't gotten to do with any of them in such a long time. I hadn't been down to visit my dad's family in like three years, and so just doing the simple things like going to church, breaking bread together, um, cooking together, just going to random places like the grocery store together was just like almost healing in a way. Um, I felt a different kind of connection to myself while I was there in the sense of like, I think I've definitely turned out different from how I originally planned to be. And I'm really grateful for that, honestly, because as I am recording this voiceover and editing this video, I am about to be a homeowner at 25 years old. I have a really cool corporate job that I get to work on the side that allows me to have the freedom to do freelancing and do social media and all these other cool things. And that's so not who I planned to be when I was younger. But, like, that's the really cool part, you know? I didn't turn out to be everything that I wanted to be when I was 5 or 15 even, and I'm honestly kind of glad I did it. Um, I got to grow far beyond anything that I might have planned for myself, or even as I'm here um, looking at the footage of my grandparents' old house, I grew probably far beyond what anything they could have dreamed for me, and, um, 
my cousins and other people in our family. And I don't know, this is such a cool thing to think about. I think that we can always have great expectations for ourselves and for our lives, but we can always be more than we imagined. And life can always turn out better than we could have expected. Obviously, there's much along the way, but there's some sort of strange thing you put in that, you know? After three days of being there, I felt rejuvenated and kind of like I could take on the world, honestly, at this point. Um, I felt like I could go back to my normal routine of what it was at that time in May and kind of just tackle everything. Okay, you know me, I couldn't leave the south without getting Zaxby's. Um, so now, we're gonna head to the airport. Here we freaking go. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, I don't know if you enjoyed these podcast thoughts kind of format, but um, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I kind of miss talking to you guys like in my content. Um, and so, I uh, definitely am trying to like pivot my content as I am getting older. I am at the right age of 25, as I said, and so content is gonna look a lot different. And that's a scary thing. Life is going to look a lot different too. Um, what the heck? Um, but it can be a really wonderful thing. And so I hope you've enjoyed traveling with me so far. Um, there may be more escapades like this in the future, but um, yeah, I. <laughs> the rest of the video and um, I will hopefully talk to you very, very soon. Bye!